All right, so today we're gonna to be installing Hyperbian and using it to run our Hyperion lighting setup to get our uh, LED strip to match what's on the TV screen or whatever screen you're using, monitor, anything, honestly. Let your imagination run wild. But anyway, step one, we're going to the Hyperion site. You're gonna find your Hyperbian and you're gonna go ahead and download it. I've already done that, so next thing you're going to want to do is bow in an etcher and you should have your micro SD card and you should have it input into your laptop or computer right now and we're going to go ahead and select the image we just downloaded I'm going to select the aforementioned SD card and you're going to go ahead and flash it next step is you're going to um Unplug and replug your adapter you use to read your SD card and it should pop up your boot folder your root folder and We're gonna put some files in here. So pop open notepad What we're gonna do here is we're gonna enable SSH to allow us to remotely access our Hyperbian instance because we don't want to have to hook up a monitor and keyboard for all this so put a blank space file save as all files and go to your boot drive ssh save the next step we're going to go ahead and configure our wi-fi network so that it automatically logs in so that we can access it through the ssh so i'm on desertbot.io and you can go ahead and copy this from there And make sure it's a 2.4 gigahertz network. Raspberry Pi Zero doesn't take five. And save that. As wpasupplicant.conf. And remember to have it as all files. All right, so you're gonna take your 2812 LED strip and it's gonna have some wires attached to it um, right now we're gonna deal with these two this is the power you got a red you got a white uh, we're gonna try to do a two-for-one and power the Pi and the LED strip and we're gonna use the 5 volt power adapter in order to do them both we're gonna have to splice some cables so go ahead and find a junk micro USB cable and you're going to want to obviously keep the micro in because that's what's going to go on the Raspberry Pi and just snip it using your cable clippers and then you want to you're going to want to strip the wire back it's going to have a red and a black and two additional wires but only worry about the red and the black red meets red white meets black twist the wires together and you're gonna have a barrel connector red is positive the one that has no color is negative we're gonna go ahead and use that to connect to this we're gonna go ahead and get our jumper cable you want a male to female and the female is gonna attach to our Raspberry Pi at GPIO 18 which is, if you look on the header, it's gonna be six on the top from the left. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this end right here is gonna push right into the middle of that three prong connector on the LED strip. It should be a green cable. That's why I used a green jumper. See, green cable right there. That's gonna allow us to send data to let us know which strips light up which colors so your tv probably has four sides if uh, i'm not mistaken so you're probably going to want to cut this strip into four pieces so you don't have to bend any corners um you don't have to but it's going to help you're going to notice when you cut them there are copper pads here cut along that and when you're going to put them together there's also an arrow, which shows you which way the current's gonna go. So make sure they flow into each other according to where the arrow goes. 
when you cut you're also gonna need to solder them back together you're gonna want to leave enough of this copper pad on both sides so that we can go ahead and take our electrical wire you can use the same color honestly it doesn't matter but it looks uh it looks like you know what you're doing if you got three different colors to go to each copper pad but you're gonna go ahead and just match them up one is a uh, ground data and five volt so when you cut it five volts gonna go to five volt data to data ground to ground so go ahead and whip out your soldering iron and your solder and enjoy yourself there are connectors so if you're lazy or you don't know how to solder buy the connectors or just leave the strip together and bend the corners but it's not as pretty that way we're gonna go ahead and finish setting up the pie you should have it all plugged in and ready to go you're gonna to want to find your IP and to do that you can either pull up your router gateway or I've got the Unify controller here so Hyperbian there it is 10.0.0.239 and we're gonna go ahead and pull that up on port 8090 and you should get this screen right here all right first things first go ahead and change your settings to expert Go in your configuration, go in your LED hardware, change this to WS281X, and you should have counted your uh, LEDs. If you haven't, do it now. Um, do each side, top and bottom should probably be the same number, left and right should be the same number, and add all four of those up, put it in right here. The particular strip I used is actually GRB instead of RGB. Let's go ahead and set that. And we can go ahead and set up our layout here. Like I said, you'd want to count your LEDs on each side. I got 23 top, 23 bottom, 13 left and right. Looks good. And then this is a um, an image of what the TV would look like if you're looking at it from the front, not the back. So wherever your input is, mine's on the bottom right. You can mess with that here. All right, now that we did that, you can go ahead and uh, test and I'll show you how to set up the capture card. So that's what the soldering should look like. This is pretty much what your setup should look like. I got a double side taped up there. And like I said, from the front, my thing starts at the bottom right. We're at the bottom left back here. There's your barrel connector, the Raspberry Pi, and here comes the, uh, not complicated, but if you didn't know, this would uh, stump you. You got your capture card here, and it works with some things, but not a lot of things. But this is what you want plugged into the other micro USB on the Pi. So go ahead and do that. And then you're gonna wanna get an HDMI splitter to put your actual input in. I've got the 4K Fire Stick in right there. And one output goes to the capture card, one output goes to the TV. This is because they have copy protection, HDCP. Um, the capture card won't be able to get a signal if it can't take off the HDCP. Uh, disclaimer, definitely don't use this for piracy, but uh, definitely do use this to get cool lights on your TV. And just like that, we are on the home stretch. Uh, go ahead and get back on your Hyperion configuration. Go on down to capturing hardware. You wanna to uncheck enable platform capture because we are not recording off the Pi. Do check, enable USB capture, and everything else is automatic on this page. That should just straight up work, but if it doesn't, go on down here. Uh, you have sources, sometimes it might be set to the effects, and that might be why it's not working. But we are good, we are on the USB capture. Um, over here, you can turn components on and off. I like to keep black bar detection on because if you're watching you know, old school anime or whatever, whatever nerdy stuff you're into, 
it detects the black bars if it doesn't fit the screen and it will get the colors inside the black bars. It's a good, good feature to have on. And then the LEDs want to be on, the USB capture wants to be on, and we always like things smooth. So that's that. Uh, hopefully it works. Let's check.